guys, Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching, back uh, to you with another Whiteboard Wednesday. Today I want to address a question that I have quite often, and that is about your heart rate during training. Now, you'll head out training sometimes, and you may find that your heart rate is low and you can't get it up, or your heart rate's higher than normal. And what I want to do is just talk about what the two of those mean and how you should uh, then sort of change your training based on that. But before we can actually think about what's happening during training, I just want to have a think about what the heart, uh, how, how it's controlled, and what those different uh, control mechanisms mean for us while we're training. So we've got our heart here, and our heart's controlled by two nervous pathways, if you like. We've got the parasympathetic nervous system, which feeds from the brain down into the heart. And you can think of the parasympathetic nervous system as the heart's handbrake, if you like. When the parasympathetic nervous system is switched on, this is your sort of resting and digesting state, nice and relaxed, calm. It slows the heart rate down. So the, the parasympathetic nervous activity in the green here comes down and slows the heart rate down. The alternate uh, sympathetic nervous system in the red here comes down and this stimulates the heart to go faster and accelerate to meet the demands of what's happening. So parasympathetic is very much recovery or rest and the sympathetic nervous system is your fight or flight response. This is when the body's under stress, this system is switched on so that the heart rate increases to pump blood out to the muscles that are required. So in training, the parasympathetic nervous system is decreased, so the heart rate speeds up, the handbrake's taken off, and the sympathetic nervous system is increased, and that further speeds the heart rate and the contractility of your heart up. So there are the basics of how the heart is controlled. We've got our parasympathetic in the green, decreases heart rate, sympathetic nervous activity in the red, increases heart rate. So when we're training and we're out there, and say we have got a low heart rate. So this is when you're trying really hard, you're trying to push the pace, but you cannot get your heart rate up. No matter what you do, you can't get your heart rate up. And some people will think, well, I'm just getting fitter. If you remember the first video we did, it was about how your heart rate decreases as you get fitter. If you're trying really hard, so you've got a high RPE, rating of perceived exertion, so you feel that you're pushing really hard, but you've still got a low heart rate, what's happening is that your heart has become unresponsive to the sympathetic nervous system. So if you've had a couple of weeks of hard training, or even just a couple of days of very hard training, the heart is being bombarded and consistently stimulated by your adrenaline, noradrenaline cortisol, which are your stress hormones. They've bombarded the heart to drive it up during these training sessions that you have done. And then that specific day that you're out there, the heart is now not responding to it. It's become unresponsive because it's been bombarded so much in the past. So what you need to do is if you've got a low heart rate during training, and you've got a high RPE, as in you're trying really hard, and you just can't get it up, you feel like crap, what we need to do is shut the training down and go home and rest, because there's an imbalance and the heart is no longer responding to the sympathetic nervous system. Alternatively, if we've got a high heart rate, if we've got a high heart rate, and a low RPE, or rating of perceived exertion. So we're just cruising along, but our heart rate is through the roof. If that's the case, what's happening is there's just an over-representation of our sympathetic nervous system, and it's just, you're in a stress state, whether it be from training stress, life stress, work, family, whatever it is, or you may be starting to get sick, so your sympathetic nervous system's cranked on, 
if you've got a high heart rate, low RPE, again, you need to shut the training down, go home and rest so your nervous system can balance itself out again between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. Now the other case is you may have a high heart rate, so high heart rate, but you may have also a high RPE, slash you're feeling good or strong. So you're cranking along, you've got some good RPE there, so you feel like you're working hard. You're also feeling quite good or quite strong, and you've got a high heart rate. This is all good. This means you're working hard, everything's going well, keep your training going. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight of what's happening when you're out there training and you've got a low heart rate and you're trying to work hard but you, you can't do it. And if you've got a high heart rate but you've got a low RPE. And how that relates back to the two branches of the autonomic nervous system. It's parasympathetic and sympathetic. Once you can understand this, you can start to control how you do your training depending on the messages you're getting sent back from your body during the day. So, there you have it. If you've got any more questions about heart rate, let me know. Hopefully this clears it up. As you can see, it's quite a complex topic, so it may take one or two videos to get it nailed.